from the 50s so I thought I'd start with the most important centerpiece which is a beautiful tree we have a fake tree because we don't like real trees real trees are often too wide and we have a slightly more limited space in this corner and this one we've had for ages and the most fun part of it is assembling all of the pieces and because it comes very flat you have to open all of them up and that's really fun and we usually do tinsel but this year we forgot <laughs> to put any tinsel on it, but we have all of our lovely Disney decorations and lots of sparkles and of course lots of lights, including one setting that my mother calls the migraine setting. And now moving here we have one of my favourite Christmas ornaments in the whole world. It makes fun noises when you poke it. And this house, I don't even know how long we have had this house for quite quite some time I believe and if we look here we have poor Santa in a lantern <laughs> who sadly passed away this year <laughs> he used to light up and have sparkles in him and the sparkles were just getting lower and lower until they wouldn't go up at all he will be missed this is okay moving to our TV corner we have some lovely little gonks. If anyone knows why they're called gonks, please do tell me because I don't understand. And some little angels and a giant gnome. This was one of my mother's birthday presents and she is wonderful. And I can't remember what we called her. What did we call her? Is it yeah. Nancy? Mm -hmm. Nancy! Nancy the gnome. Nancy the knitting gnome. And on this side we have reindeers, we have more gonks, we have a beautiful Knitted? This isn't knitted. This wicker. Isn't knitted. Wicker! Wicker! Wicker. Bunny rabbit. I can't think of words. And lovely little penguins. They're having all sorts of fun in the snow of the carpet. And this polar bear, which also lights up, but he's not lit up at the moment. He's having a break. It's been a long year. He just wants a break for once. And these are our penguins. Because we like to have as many things lit up as possible. And then over here, we cover the whole of the chest in various Christmassy things. And they are all beautiful and the house has fallen over. <laughs> now it's up. There we go. Pee, 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 pee. I'm caught. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. And this ornament <laughs> is one of my absolute favourites because we got it from Disney World in Florida. It's the happiest place on earth and their Christmas shop is what dreams are made of. It's so beautiful and it's really nice and sparkly and it has Goofy and Daffy and Minnie and Mickey in a beautiful sleigh all on the way to deliver the presents. I think I'd rather have them deliver than Santa. I'd rather have Mickey and Minnie Mouse deliver the presents. <laughs> Departed Santa in a Lantern, we instead have Santa in a toy shop, surrounded by his adoring fans and little trees, and he's making the presents and he's really, really, really sweet. And then we also have these cute little red candles to add some more festive cheer to the room. And this is a really good idea, this was my dad's idea, is we covered the entire light fixture in tinsel to make it look nice and festive and we adorned it with a beautiful butterfly. Um, we didn't really have a colour scheme for this year but we've accidentally kind of I think inadvertently ended up with at least a red green and purple and gold motif just because most of our decorations are that colour. If you look above me we have adorned the picture frames with some beautiful leaves and butterflies and even the mirror and the door 
have been given a festive treatment. Is one of our favorite favorite things it is our little nativity and we decorate it well I decorate it it's mine every single year with these beautiful little porcelain figures and every year I get to come up with a little bit of a, a different configuration for Jesus and Mary and Joseph a cow a donkey we think the wise men and an angel and a little shepherd boy and his little shepherd l what is a baby sheep called lamb lamb i was gonna say shepherd child the child of the shepherd boy <laughs> oh okay and then we have more little decorations we have our beautiful picture wall which we have just covered in tinsel to get the full festive effect and the fans above the mirror are once again from Disney World because we are obsessed with Disney. And ah, we have spiders in the corner. I'll call them Gertrude and Laurel. Yeah. Um, with this beautiful star, I got really scared something was gonna fall out of it then, but nothing did, so we're okay. And we have another star in this corner so that the room will be full of sparkliness and light. And those are all of our Christmas decorations. I already have a video showing you the Christmas decorations in my room, which is great because my room is currently a mess. So I will leave a little card in one of these corners, I don't know which corner it is, that will link you over to seeing that video. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing this one, and I will see you in my next 